So Notion just copied three buttons from a calculator. That sounds random, right? But what if I told you this might be the best feature they've added all year? A Notion calls this tab groups. I call it the smartest thing they've done in years. Now here's the problem. If you use Notion even a little seriously, your sidebar gets out of control really, really fast. Your navigation is often spread across pages in different databases and views. And all of this is based on how you first set up your workspace. If you work in teams, different team members often have unique use cases for these pages, and they'll need to access various pages as part of their specific workflow. Or if you use Notion for both work and personal tasks, then you need to switch between these contexts seamlessly. And that's where tab groups come in. Think of tab groups as contextual overlays, while your dashboard, your database structure remains the same constant underneath. Add to that the power of switching contexts when you want to. So some examples where I would use this would include a switching between different clients or team projects. And sometimes I suddenly remember a personal task I need to complete and I can switch to my personal workflow without interrupting my work activities. Or if I use something like Para, I can switch between projects, areas, resources, and archives almost instantly. Think of it as saving your workflows with a single click, just like the memory function, the memory plus on the calculator. So tab groups are hidden at first. They only appear once you create one. To get started, just right click on any tab and select add tab to the new group from the menu. You'll be prompted to give it a name. In my case, I'm calling it as tab groups since I'm building this video's workflow. The moment you create your first group, a new tab group icon appears next to your open tabs. Now think of this as your command center. Now this is what I call as the memory recall button of your calculator. When you click on it, it'll show you ungrouped tabs, the tab groups as a list. You can also create a new tab group from the existing tabs, or you can just create a new empty group. If you click on the three dot icon next to the tab groups listed, you will have the option to add an emoji or to even rename the tab group. But there isn't an option to add one of Notion's custom icons yet. If you want to ungroup a specific tab from the tab group, just right click and choose ungroup tab. Now think of this being similar to the memory minus button of the calculator, but we're not done yet. You also have the option to move it to a new tab group as well. You can also have the same page as part of two different tab groups, making this mighty useful. And in order to make sure that the tab is not accidentally closed, I would recommend you pin that tab. Now, on pinning it, you might be worried that the title has disappeared, but if you just hover over it, it brings up a quick preview of what the header is. So yes, tab groups remembers everything you've saved, even after quitting Notion, but there's still quite a few things they can't do yet. Tab groups aren't available on the mobile, on the tablet, or on web versions. They're currently desktop only. And as of now, tab groups are personal and local to your desktop app. They can't be shared across a team. They don't sync across devices or users. Now currently, Notion's teased offline functionality only works on specific pages, not on tab groups, which I think would be extremely useful. Now, if tab groups impressed you, wait till you see these 26 new Notion features.